Welcome to my classroom. In this video, we are going to talk about Google Forms and how Google Forms can help you create quizzes for your classroom. And they are going to be also self-graded, so it's going to save you time. So what we do is on the main home screen of Google account, we click on this top right-hand corner. You'll see this square made up of dots. And we go here, and we don't see anywhere written Google Forms. So we click on the More right here. And under More, I can see that there is a uh, word forms and we'll click on forms. Once we click on forms, you can see that it's opening another interface for me, which says, well, um, do you want to create uh, Google forms? There are different options available here. Blank, blank quiz, exit ticket, assessment, worksheet, course evaluation. So there are different ways in which you can um, test any audience. So we are going to start with blank. Now under blank, you will see that um, a new screen is being shown to you. And the default color for this one is shown here as purple. You can always click on this paint tray here and change the color to whatever color you want it to be. So I click on red and we are going to move on to the next part. So I'll just cross this off as I don't need it anymore. And I will click on this um, settings button here. And under settings, you can see that it's asking you, is it a general quiz? Is it a presentation? Or is it an actual quiz that you're doing it for your classroom? So I'm saying, okay, well, I want it to be a quiz and I want to use it as a quiz. So there, why we are doing this is because you'll see more features that are going to be here, which will be really helpful for your classroom. Now quiz options locked mode on Chromebooks. So if you're using Chromebooks in your class, the respondents aren't allowed to open tabs or other applications while taking the quiz. This is very useful. So if you have created this quiz, if you turn the lock mode on, they won't be able to open any other tab to get help. Let's move on. Release the grade. Now, how do you want to release the grade immediately after submission because it's going to grade itself? Or do you want to rather do it later? after a manual review. So I would suggest immediately is easy because you're going to put on uh, the correct answers anyways. And respondents will be able to see their missed questions, correct answers, and how many points they have um, received for each question. So this is going to be our settings. And let's go back and just show you that I went under settings, I went to quizzes. And we will save the setting. And when we save this setting, it shows me that uh, the lock mode is on. And now I'm ready to create my quiz. Now, under creating the quiz, I can click on untitled question because this is uh, going to be my first question. I can say, well, I want my students to add the given integers. So I say add the integers. And which integers do I want them to add are negative 3. and negative four, let us say. Well, I have um, decided for a question. Now on the right-hand side, it's asking me, do I want it multiple choice, check boxes or drop down? For now, these are the three options you have, but eventually uh, they are going to add more. So for now, the first question I want is as multiple choice. Now option one, I can click on option one and give them uh, choices of answers that they can choose from. So I click on negative and negative three and negative four is negative seven. Well, I can add another option where the student will see the word other written and they can um, say whether, uh, well, the answer is not here. So it's another answer. Option two, let's uh, make it a plus seven just to confuse them. Next option, we can add an option and we can say um, maybe they'll subtract four and three because they are confused. So the answer will be one. Or let's have this is good. You know, they have four choices. Um, this is enough. Now, as at the bottom, you can see it's written answer key. Now, what I can do basically here is that I can select and I can actually choose the correct answer so that the grade, uh, the quiz can be graded itself. So negative seven is going to be the right answer. And how many points do you want your students to have for this is one point, let us say. Well, we are done with that. And now we can say, do we want to add answer feedback? So I want to do for incorrect answers, I want to add a feedback. And for incorrect answers, I can say, I can just remind them the rule for adding integers. So I can say, well, same signs. 
and uh, I want them to remember that when signs are same, you need to always add. So that much is enough for them to understand their uh, mistake. For correct answers, I can just give them some encouragement and I can say good job. There are other options where you can actually, for incorrect answers, add a video link. So if you have um, a video they want, uh, you want them to watch before, um, you know, they can actually uh, get it right or things like that. There's another link also. You can have link for notes and stuff. But for now, we'll just do this much. Um, okay, so it's showing me that it is also saving feedback for correct answers and feedback for incorrect answers. And we are done with that. So now once we are done with the answer, adding answers and stuff, there is on the right hand side, you can see this little bar here. Uh, I click on plus and that, uh, that is how I'm telling uh, that I need to add another question. So let us add another question and we are still on adding integers. So we'll say add integers, add the given integers as. And this time, which integers do I want them to add? So let us take uh, two different signs. So negative um, one. And I want them to add a negative uh, plus nine with it. All right, now on the right hand side, you can see my questions, uh, the choices are different. This time I want them to use check boxes. So they'll have boxes and they'll have to check on the, the correct one. So option one, uh, negative one and plus nine will be plus eight. So the answer is eight, one of the answer. Add another, I just add other to uh, confuse them. So the other option could be negative eight. So some students may choose negative 8 and 9 plus 1 is 10. Let us add that as our option 2. So here we'll have a 10, number 10. All right, this also has um, four choices for them. So we will go ahead and do the answer key this time. So when we do answer key, we will select the correct answer. So the correct answer for this one is this one and they will get one point for it. So do we want to do answer feedback for incorrect answers? What feedback do I want to give them? I will give them different signs. So the signs of the numbers are different. I want them to subtract. All right, for correct answers, I can give them a positive feedback. Way to go. All right, uh, now let us, um, this one is also done. It is all set and ready. We'll do the last question. That is our third question for today. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, do another question as, let us say, How many centimeters in one meter? So let us say we'll make that as our question. And we will say which type of answer do we want it to be a short answer or drop down. This time we will see a drop down menu. So for drop down, our options are uh, one of the choices could be a hundred. The other choice could be 10. And then my other option could be 1000. All right, so answer key in the drop down menu. Do you want an answer? Do you want the answer feedback or not? The same thing again. And this is for, let us say, one point. 
Okay, we are all done with our quiz and it's all ready. And total is three points, you can see. Now, what we do is uh, instead of untitled form, let us give this a name integers. And here also it has added the name integers. All changes are being saved in your drive. So you'll have a copy of this in your drive also. Form description, let us say I want to make it as my pretest. All right, so as you can see, your quiz is all ready and you're set, uh, ready to go. What you can do is you can either upload it on Google Classroom or I'm just sending it as an email for now to myself, just so you can see how um, the students are going to be answering it. So, well, I'm going to send this to my student just so they can start working on the quiz. All right, as you can see, I've received the email. I'll go back to my email and this is the integers quiz. And it says that you have been invited to fill out a form and I click on fill out form. All right, so when I clicked on the Google Forms, I was able to open the pretest that my teacher sent me. And I click on um, the question. I look at the question and then I'll be clicking on the correct answer. So negative three and negative four is negative seven. I choose my answer. Next up, I have negative one plus nine. Well, um, let us try to do make a mistake here. So negative one plus nine is eight, but I'll deliberately choose a wrong answer. I select on negative eight, as you can see that we had the checkbox option here. Next up, I will see how many centimeters in one meter. So there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So I say submit. Now, once I say submit, it is asking me, or do you want to see your score, how you did on the test? So it says um, that I made two mistakes. And how many centimeters in one meter? It is saying wrong because we did not do an answer option for this one. So anytime you do not do an answer option, um, it won't be able to grade your quiz. So next we have the correct answer. Uh, negative eight is also um, incorrect. Different signs, the feedback is being shown. Now for the correct one, you can see the feedback is good job. All right, this is what your students will be able to see as a feedback for their work. Now let us go into uh, the actual Google form for the teacher and see what um, it says up there. So that means I have got a response. The moment I click on the response, I can see that one of my students has done the quiz and which student has done what time they finished it and the score they got. Now this is a full report for that quiz you can get. And again, this was just me doing the quiz, so there's not a lot of information here. You can also sort your results by the question as to this question, how many students got it right or wrong. Individual report of a student. What did they do on the whole quiz? Now on the top right-hand corner, you can see a green um, button here, like with a little uh, plus sign here. You click on that and you can actually get all your results in a spreadsheet and save them. So I say, well, create a spreadsheet for me and very soon it'll be done for you so you can see at what time the person did the quiz how much score they got what were the correct answers so hopefully this was uh, useful for you this is google forms again it is very useful in uh, creating pre and post tests anytime you want to test them it can be used for um, summarization of a topic and uh, hope this was useful and let me know if there are any areas where I can improve and I uh, hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.